Hey Shamrocks, one day closer to Friday, we're your Shamrock News team. I'm Chris. And I'm Dylan. Here's your news. Thanks to the Catholic Central family, the 22nd annual Shamrock Shuffle was a huge success. Due to the overwhelming generosity, we were able to raise an impressive $7,800 for Make-A-Wish Foundation of Michigan. This money will provide a child with a life-threatening disease an opportunity to forget about their disease for a little while and just be a kid. Over the last 22 years, the Catholic Central family has managed to raise $170,000 in donations. This year, the top homerooms by class and winners of the pizza parties are as, are as follows. Juniors with Mrs. Rasky's homeroom at $205. Sophomores, Mrs. Price's homeroom with a $345 donation. Seniors, Mr. Debot's homeroom with $583. And, of course, Mr. Griffin, the overall winner, with an impressive $1,880. Thank you for your generosity and congratulations. Now, I had a chance to talk to Mr. Mahalik about the uh, uh, Pro-Life Club. Check that out. What's up, Shamrock Nation? I'm Chris Pro, and I am here with Mr. Mahalik to talk about the uh, Pro Life Club. How you doing, Mr. Mahalik? Oh, excellent, excellent. So, um, uh, so why why do you call the Pro Life Club Rox Vite? Uh, Rox Vite. Vite oh, means um, yeah. Maybe you take Spanish, right? But they're kind of related. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so Vite is for life. You know, so Shamrock's for life. Latin just sounds cooler. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that. So, um, why does CC need a pro-life club? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think number one, probably because we're Catholic, right? And the Catholic Church is uh, on the forefront, as they've always been, in defending life from beginning to end. And um, it's part of our identity, so that makes sense. But also, I think it makes sense, too, because we're men here. And a lot of, a lot of times you'll hear people say, oh, this is a woman's issue, and and uh, it's between her and her doctor, et cetera. Well, it's, it's bigger than that because it's uh, a new human that is wanting to enter society and men should be helping women and men should um, be there to defend innocence. So I think um, no matter what the issue is that men should grow to defend what is good and what is what is true and what is uh, especially the innocent so i think we need that awareness early um so i think uh, it makes sense all right so what is the uh what is the uh uh, uh pro-life club's primary mission uh two things really to educate um well, maybe three to educate to uh for prayer and for helping out, you know, helping mothers that are that are single mothers that are struggling. So we we do what we can. As the education every other Thursday, we'll have a meeting where, and it's been student led for most most of the. I just, I started like the first one, and then from there issues came and students wanted to to present those. So it's been really cool. So w whether it's the uh, history of Planned Parenthood, which two students are going to do this coming Thursday. Or you know whether it's um, uh, local votes that are going on in states or legislation or um, philo philosophical ways of thinking, and then um, every other Tuesday we have two decades of the Rosary right before school because we recognize that you know there's battles that are going on behind the scenes of this issue, and so um, we'll pray for you know we'll pray for student groups. Uh, in colleges that are having a hard time bringing this issue out, you know, anything you can think of, even even abortionists themselves, which might sound kind of crazy, but um, we're supposed to pray for enemies, and and uh, and a lot of times uh, this it it's 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 really complicated, but everyone needs prayer in regards to this, and then um, we're trying to help women uh, with our diaper drive like last spring. We're going to find other ways to... Um, actually, I'm working on trying to have, uh, to sponsor like a family in some way to direct our, our work towards. But, um, you know, everything everything in progress, I guess. But, uh, so, yeah. yeah, thanks for the questions. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. 
Yeah, thanks for the, the media attention. Yeah. Is uh, the news team uh, still sponsored by uh, Propel and uh, the Mahalik Candy Shop? Um, well, gosh, um, this is a big thing. It took me. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, we take Visa now and MasterCard and uh, the chip. Chip. Yeah. Not many pla the places that are uh, using the chip are expanding, but still, I can't believe a lot of people don't use it. I mean, it's. Just yeah, it's kind it. of common sense, and uh, you want to give more to the poor, use the chip, right? Exactly, right? exactly. So, um, yeah, that's all from us. Uh, uh, back to you guys in the studio. This Friday will be a spirit day, students. Faculty and staff may wear CC spirit wear, jeans, and golf shorts for $3. Sweats and athletic shorts are not allowed. Proceeds will benefit cares of Farmington Hills. The Student Council is hosting a pregame barbecue on Friday prior to the varsity football game against Orchard Lake St. Mary's. The barbecue will begin at 5 p.m. on the grass fields north of the football stadium. All students, faculty, and staff are invited. We have invited incoming 8th graders to join us as well. And now, here's a word from Father Fulton. Good morning, Shamrock Nation. I want to acknowledge our GDK Citizen of the Day, someone very special. I got a letter today from the Archdiocese of Detroit, and it says... Dear Mrs. Martin, congratulations, you have been selected as the recipient of the Sylvia A. Colatz Administrative Assistant of the Year Award. Achieving such honorable recognition for your involvement in efforts which support and enhance the mission of our schools to help unleash the gospel is to be commended. Mrs. Martin has been an institution here at CC for 28 years. She served and survived seven principles. For all you do, Mrs. Martin, for the mission of Catholic Central, thank you very much. Come on down and receive your lunch pass. God bless you. That's all from us guys. Uh, this has been WCC TV signing, signing off. off.